Newsreel, real news real quick. A massive earthquake, 6.4 on the Richter scale, shook Humboldt County, California with the epicenter 130 miles north of San Francisco at 2.34 in the morning on Tuesday. More than 70,000 homes are without power from the earthquake, which struck 7.5 miles southwest of Ferndale. Former President Donald Trump, who last month announced another run for the White House in 2024, has dismissed the January 6th committee's recommendation to the Justice Department to prosecute him as a witch hunt and an attempt to undermine his campaign. The Grinch in a police squad car gave tickets to motorists who sped through an elementary school zone in Monroe County, Florida during the past week. Colonel Lou Caputo, a 37-year-old veteran of the sheriff's office, gave motorists who drove less than five miles per hour above the school zone speed limit a choice between traffic citations or an onion. After a month-long trial and nine days of deliberations, Los Angeles jurors on Monday found disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein guilty of rape and sexual assault of just one of the four accusers he was charged with abusing. The three guilty counts involving an Italian actress and model will likely result in a prison sentence of 24 years in California after the 70-year-old finishes his 23-year sentence in New York. A German court convicted 97-year-old Ermgard Furchner, known as the Secretary of Evil, of complicity in the murder of more than 10,500 people during her time working as a typist in a Nazi concentration camp during World War II. She received a two-year suspended sentence, which was under juvenile law because she was 18 years old at the time of the crime. Congressional negotiators from both parties unveiled a mammoth $1.7 trillion funding bill early Tuesday as leaders scramble to quickly sort out government funding for fiscal year 2023 before the end of the month. Germany and Poland have ordered substantial oil deliveries from Russia, the head of oil supplier Transneft Nikolai Tokarov said on Monday. Poland ordered 360,000 tons of Russian crude for pipeline delivery this month and 3 million more tons in early 2023, while Germany's orders are actually much larger. And that's the way the world is. See you next time. See you next year because this show is our last of 2022.